Okay. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the fourth episode of the miniseries The Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, as well as the 149th episode overall, titled The Alien Trap. We begin this episode outside where Tommy and Kat are watching some device called a molecular hydroatmosphere generator, and it's Billy's, so they can basically cleanse water well enough for the alien rangers. Then some snooty old bitch comes up saying that they should be playing with such dangerous equipment and yada yada yada. She says she's left with no choice and she's going to have to turn them over to the proper authorities. Like, bitch, calm down, no one asked you, what are you doing, what? Then Billy shows up yelling, hey, and at first it sounds like he's going to tell this old lady to F off, but no, instead he apologizes for his little brother and sister playing with his science experiment. Then the old lady says that she was just worried, leaving. Then Billy tells the others that if they keep it up, they're going to lose their allowance. And Tommy and Kat are obviously like a bit offended by this. I mean, it's clearly bad enough that they're already turned into kids. Billy shows them more parts and he explains that basically the device in the field is just a prototype. And now he's going to build the real thing so that the alien rangers can survive completely fine on Earth while still fighting Rita and Zed. Speaking of which, Zed says that he's going to steal the generator to get rid of the alien rangers. In the command center, Billy and Sestra look at the generator device, and they talk about how the device is going to be able to rehydrate the alien rangers. Get it. Then Sestra starts freaking out because he's getting dried out. They decide to go to the north side of the Angel Grove Lake because it's always deserted. What the hell kind of town is this? Buildings? Lakes? What? Zoran says that they should get in contact with the others. Smash cut to the ranger kids and the other alien rangers at an ice cream truck, and they're all eating frozen popsicles. As Aisha says, Delphine is on her fifth one, so clearly the alien rangers love their sugar. Then the ice cream man says he's leaving, putting up a sold out sign. Delphine then asks the rangers what Bulk and Skull are doing, and they appear to be fishing on a pier. They then explain to them that they're catching fish to eat, and the alien rangers start freaking out about this because I guess they're like fish adjacent? I mean, I guess they have flippers. Delphine says that they cannot stand idly by and let Bulk and Skull do this, so they start firing weird warp lasers at them, and they fall into the water. The ranger kids laugh, which is pretty cool considering this was totally unnecessary. Then all the alien rangers start to freak out from dehydration. Serves you right. Billy shows up with Cestro saying that they're ready. Zed sends down Rito and Goldar to get Billy's device from them. Then at the lake, Rito and Goldar appear in front of all of these damn rangers, demanding the device. Then the alien rangers muster up the last bit of their energy, firing Rito and Goldar into a random boat, sending them out into the lake. This was a huge waste of everyone's time, huh? Billy says that they have to hurry. Zed sees what's happened, and he's kind of pissed. Then Zed brings up a good point. Billy never took into account lunar toxic waste. Only the impurities of Earth. He then says that he's going to send down Eric and Merrick, the barbaric brothers, who we see. By the way, they have horrible server accents for like no reason. I, but other than that, this is actually a pretty good plan. Billy sets up the device in the lake coming back to shore. The alien rangers fly out to the lake, sucking up that water. Then one of the barbaric bros comes out and pours some lunar waste into the lake, which immediately starts turning the lake purple around the aliens, causing them to start sucking up poison essentially. Then Rito and Goldar show up, freezing the equations in place so there's no way out for them. Then the ranger kids attempt to look threatening by doing fighting poses, and it doesn't work. Rita sees this, and she's ecstatic that they're winning. The alarms are blaring in the command center, and Alpha can't free the alien rangers from the force field around them. Then all six rangers talk about how they have to get the controller from Rito to stop the force field. Then they challenge Rito to a game of tag, and Tommy is it. He falls onto the ground as Rito follows him, and then he just kicks the controller out of Rito's hands directly into Billy's. Billy then frees the alien rangers from the poison water. Goldar and Rito leave, pissed that they failed. That sucked. On the moon, Zed says that he's going to send every one of Rito's bones to a different dog shelter. Then the alien rangers get a telepathic message from Zordon in the worst display of effects yet, learning that the barbaric bros are attacking Angel Grove. The alien rangers still insist on going. It's morphin' time! They stand in front of them for like a split second before Zed and Rita just make the Barbaric Bros giant for absolutely no reason. The alien rangers call out their battle borgs right away and the Barbaric Bros get new, sharper armor on them randomly. Now it's the battle borgs versus the Barbaric Bros and at first the alien rangers honestly are not doing so hot. Then Corcus' borg gets tossed, which makes him get tossed too, which again doesn't really make sense because he didn't get spun around before. I don't think these people know how telepathic zords would work. Like at all. Now it's down to Oracle to try to save the day, but then he gets held back before he says, Spin! 
which somehow frees him from the grip of the barbaric bros holding him. Then they just call out the Shogun Megazord despite the caption saying that they're calling out the Ninja Borg Megazord, which isn't a thing. They immediately kill the barbaric bros. On the moon, Zed and Rita yell at Rito for sucking up their entire plan. In the command center, Billy is with the alien rangers and Billy explains that the generator is broken and Zoran tells them they need to go back to Aquatar to get better. The alien rangers fake argue with this before they're just like, yeah, actually, let's just go. Bye. They actually say it in a hell of a lot more words than that, but like, that's essentially what this is. They then teleport out via alpha pushing buttons. The end. Over the credits, we see bloopers of the kid Tommy struggling to deliver that complex ass line from earlier in the episode. I honestly am not sure how I feel about this episode. I like the plan from Rita and Zed because it makes sense. And if you think of it as them attempting to poison the alien rangers, it's kind of dark. It shows that Billy was attempting to find a solution for the alien rangers being on earth, but it gets completely thrown off by the villains. The barbaric brothers were annoying as hell, but honestly, they were barely in this episode, so I can't even be that mad about it. I guess overall it's a solid episode, but it felt different, like a filler, even though it really wasn't one. What will happen next time? Will the Alien Rangers come back, or are we seriously about to finish the last six episodes of this miniseries without them? Honestly, wouldn't be surprised, because it's Power Rangers. Until then, may the power protect you.